Hello children, today we are going to discuss the chapter A Truly Beautiful Mind which is a chapter from the book Beehive for class 9. The chapter is about Albert Einstein, the great renowned scientist that all of you would be familiar with. Albert Einstein was born in March on the 14th day in 1879. Einstein is somebody we have all heard about. Einstein was born in a middle class Jewish family located in Bavarian city called Ulm in Germany. From his earliest years, Einstein was exposed to science and engineering through his father who ran an electric manufacturing facility. He was a top student at elementary school. Albert Einstein died in 1955 at the age of 76. This chapter, A Truly Beautiful Mind, is a biography of Albert Einstein. His family moved to Switzerland from Germany in 1895. In 1902, he began to service in the Confederal Office of Intellectual Property in Bern. In 1905, he published works on quantum theory of light, Brownian movement and the world famous theory of relativity. These are some of the quotes by Albert Einstein and I quote, Imagination is more important than knowledge. I never think of the future. It comes soon enough. Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. The only thing that interferes with my learning is my education. Put your hand on a hot stove for a minute and it seems like an hour. Sit with a pretty girl for an hour and it seems like a minute. That's relativity. Unquote. Albert Einstein, who was born in Germany in the city of Ulm, without any indication that he was destined for greatness. Contrary, his mother thought Albert was a freak. To her, his head seemed much too large. At the age of two and a half, Einstein still was not talking. When he finally did learn to speak, he uttered everything twice. So he had a problem when he learned to speak. Einstein did not know what to do with other children and his playmates called him Brother Boring. Einstein began learning to play the violin at the age of six because his mother wanted him to. He later became a gifted amateur violinist, maintaining his skill throughout his life. Albert Einstein was not a bad pupil pupil means a student a disciple he went to high school in munich where einstein's family had moved when he was 15 months old and he scored good marks in almost every subject einstein hated the school's regimentation and often clashed with his teachers i hope most of you do that at the age of 15 Einstein felt so stifled there that he left the school for good his parents had moved to milan and left him in munich with relatives he got to continue his education in a city much more liberal than Munich. He was interested in physics and was highly gifted in mathematics. He studied, studied at a university in Zurich. He also felt a special interest in a fellow student, Mivella Marek, whom he found to be a clever creature. That's what he called. The couple fell in love. Letters survive in which they put their affection into words. At the age of 21, he was a university graduate, but he was still unemployed. Then he started working as a teaching assistant and gave private lessons, like private tuitions. He secured a job in 1902 as a technical expert in Bern. In 1905, one of the famous papers was Einstein's special theory of relativity, according to which time and distance are not absolute. He also derived the world's most famous formula that describes the relationship between mass and energy, which is E is equal to mc square. Einstein wanted to marry Mileva after finishing his studies, but his mother did not approve of it as she thought Mileva was too old for him and was a book just like he was. They finally got married. He didn't listen to his mother. And he married Mileva in January 1903 and they had two sons. But unfortunately, the marriage ended in a divorce in the year 1919. Then Einstein married his cousin Elsa the same year. In 1915, he had published his general theory of relativity. An eclipse of the sun in 1919 proved that it was accurate. He had correctly calculated the extent to which the light from fixed stars would be deflected through the sun's gravitational field in advance. So he had done the calculations in advance and the proof of that was an eclipse of 1919. His work was considered a scientific revolution. Albert Einstein received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. He was showered with honors and invitations from all over the world for, for his achievements. When the Nazis came to power in Germany in 1933, 
Einstein emigrated to the United States. Five years later, the discovery of nuclear fission in Berlin and American physicists were in uproar. Many of them had fled from fascism just as Einstein had. And now they were afraid the Nazis could build and use an atomic bomb. He wrote a letter to American President Mr. Roosevelt on 2nd August 1939. In this letter, he warned President Roosevelt about the happenings and the bombs the Nazis had planned to use. Einstein was deeply shaken by the extent of the destruction. He wrote a public missive. Missive means a long official letter that is written to an office. He wrote this long official letter or missive to the UN proposing the formation of a world government but it made no impact. His words had no impact because the American used the atomic bomb and they dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the year 1945. So, Einstein's letter to the UN had no impact. He could not stop the Americans from dropping the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He died in 1955 at the age of 76. He was known and celebrated as a visionary and world citizen as much as a great scientist or a scientific genius. So that's Albert Einstein for you, my dear children. I hope you have understood the chapter. Thank you.